Welcome to School 2020. In this video, we will discuss about plant tissue and its types. Plant tissue Explain plant tissue. Answer. Plant tissue is a collection of similar cells performing an organized function for the plant. An ensemble of similar or different types of cells with the same origin and performing a specific function is called tissue. Plant tissues are of two types. One, meristematic tissue. Two, permanent tissue. Tissue can be grouped into three types. Number one, simple tissue. Number two, complex tissue. Number three, excretory tissue. Plant tissue. Here is a classification of plant tissue. So first of all, plant tissue is divided into two parts, meristematic tissue, then permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue is again divided into three parts, apical meristem, lateral meristem, intercalary meristem. And permanent tissue is divided into two parts, simple and complex. Simple tissue is again divided into three parts, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma. And sclerenchyma is divided into two parts, fibers and sclerates. And then complex tissue is divided into two parts, xylem, tracheid vessels, xylem parenchyma, xylem fibers, phloem, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, phloem fibers. This chart is really important. Then comes the difference table between meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. So number one difference is the cells divide repeatedly in meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. The cells are derived from meristematic tissue and do not divide. The second difference, meristematic tissue. The cells are undifferentiated. Number two, permanent tissue. The cells are fully differentiated. Number three, meristematic tissue. The cells are small and isodiametric. Number three, permanent tissue. The cells are variable in shape, sh in shape and size. Number four, meristematic tissue. Intercellular spaces are generally absent. Number four, permanent tissue. Visible intercellular spaces are present. Number five, meristematic tissue, vacuoles are absent. Number five, permanent tissue, large vacuoles are present in mature cells. Number six, meristematic tissue, metabolism occurs at high rate. Number six, permanent tissue, metabolism occurs at low rate. Number seven, meristematic tissue, the cell walls are thin. Number seven, permanent tissue. The cell walls may be thin or thick. Then comes simple tissue. In this chapter, we will learn about simple tissue and complex tissue. So what is a simple tissue? The, the tissue which contains the cells of the same shape, size and structure is called simple tissue. On the basis of the nature of cell, simple tissues are divided into three types. Number one, parenchyma, number two, colenchyma, and number three, sclerenchyma. First, we will know about parenchyma. Parenchyma. These are almost found in every part of a plant. These are living, isodiametric, thin-walled and turgid with protoplasm. Intercellular space is found. 
Cells are thin walled and walls are composed of cellulose. When chloroplasts are present in them, they are called chlorenchyma. The parenchyma cells with air filled spaces are called erenchyma and found in aquatic plants. The main functions are to organize the body or body parts of plants to produce, transport and store food. Then we have cholenchyma. The walls of the cells become thick with the compilation of cellulose and pectin. These walls are irregularly thickened with thicker corners. The cells are elongated, filled with protoplasm. Intercellular spaces may be present. The borders of the cells may be triangular, slim or oblique. They are found in the veins and petioles of leaves. And their main functions are number one, producing food, number two, provide plant with mechanical support and rigidity. Number three, provides rigidity to the young and supple stems. Number four, the ones that contain chloroplast produce food. For example, the stems of gourd and leucas. Then we have sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma, tissue composed of cells with the thickening of walls with lignin for providing mechanical support is called sclerenchyma. While in early stage of their development, sclerenchyma cells are alive, losing the living protoplasm when they become mature. The main functions are number one, providing mechanical support and rigidity, number two, to conduct water and minerals. There are two types of sclerenchyma cells. Number one, fibers, and number two, sclerates. Fibers. They are elongated, slender, thick walled, and both their ends are pointed or sometimes rounded. In their walls, they have pores called pits. Based on their origin and structure, they are called by different names such as bast fiber, surface fiber, saline fiber, or wood fiber. Then sclerates. They are called stone cells because of their hardness. These cells are shorter, isodiametric, or sometimes long and star-shaped. Their secondary cell walls are durable thick and lignified. Mature ones are usually dead. If you like our videos, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel.